Hey everyone, Madeline here. Hey, today we're heading up to right the Port Douglas Mossman area on the bike um, to check out some tracks that I've heard where there's some water holes at the end and show you might be a good spot for you to come and have a look when you're up here. And also to check out a little known war memorial with a lot of history. Um, so come along, it may be a two-parter due to me being distracted on the ride. Um, and so I hope you come along and enjoy. Thank you. Just turned off on Tresize Road. Um, have a look what's going on down here on the way. This actually links on with the old, uh, with with the second bomb truck that we come across on Black Mountain Road sometimes. But now it's only a a walking truck. So nice caravan park there. It's pretty popular all the time. It's a bit out of port, but if you've got your own stuff, it's got everything else there without being in the hustle and bustle of port. That's what I mean, there's lots of little hidden gems in this part of the world, or you just got to go down some of the side roads sometimes. Just check there's no cars coming. Yeah, she's nice and full now, because we got um, there's a high tide at the moment. drive here it's a bit of a why anyhow we got to go to here and turn to here and watch that loose cut grass and we're all good as you can see pretty thick rain for us that the road goes through it'll come into some farmlands and big acreage up here Now, I'll just go this side so you can see it. So this is Conley Bridge here. So the parking lot's not far up here, but if you're just riding your mountain bikes or whatever, uh, this will get you here. Now, I'm guessing the truck's going to have a lot of obstacles on it. I haven't done it, but I want to do it soon. So I probably will. I'll just wait till a few other people give me some idea of how heavy the truck is and find someone that wants to come with me. Um, but yeah, this is one of the old tracks that they used to get through in the, in the old days. And now it's a great walking track and on the other side you can ride your bikes and that. But you come in through Coranda or Gelatin area. Anyhow, I'll put it on the map for you. But we'll go down the car park to show you and where you go. <clears throat> and maybe in a couple of weeks when it cools down, I'll come up and tackle it. Or as far as I can go, anyhow. Hopefully. Okay, when there's our little car park area. And here's the walking and mountain bike part of the track. So, what they say, 6.5 to Black Mountain Road. And that's going to be pretty hard, 6.5 Ks. So make sure you got water on that. Um, yeah, but otherwise, it's it'd be an interesting walk. I've never done it myself, so I will tackle it shortly. Yeah, but push bikes are okay. Just no no vehicles. Other than that. And from that track up there is where you get to the waterfalls which would be pretty cool up there with all the rain we've had now so this is one pristine little area in here this causeway would flood so easy with a bit of heavy rain and it leads on to down there nice little pool to cool off in that One cool little creek. 
looks so cool with the bridge over there. Oh, going to park up here. We'll have a look. Quite a picturesque little creek. Nice spot to cool off. Some of those trees have got their roots washed away pretty cool. Not too bad either. Road's pretty good in but A bit of water in there. Okay, now that part of the creek I would not be too anxious to go for a swim in. <laughs> Where we are everyone is pretty close to the Mowbray River and tourists go to the Mowbray River to try and catch a side of the crocodiles. They've even built a vantage point for them. So, yeah, it's not high on my list to swim here. <laughs> Up top's fine, it was um, only a few feet deep, crystal clear, only went for five or six meters. We'll go in and have a look here. Oh, we're not gonna get through that truck. Okay, we're on a bit further down now. Um, and for anyone who's not from North Queensland or Northern New South Wales, these concrete structures you'll see a lot up here. Uh, I think these ones are no longer used, but this is where they used to put the cages that will go on the, that's full of sugar cane. The trucks would come in, load the cages in, take them down to the mill, which the mill's probably 25 kilometers from here. So each each one holds one cage. So and then they overlap and join in the center. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. So there's enough there for ten cages. And you'll see them all around the place. Um, some are still used, some aren't. A lot of the train the rail takes a lot of them and the trucks take the ones that are further from the rail so just going in to take you down to the creek here little butterflies going around everywhere trying not to trip on all the roots and stones and crap like then Yeah. Nice cool little creeks running through here. Like I said, I probably wouldn't be swimming here or not not at this time of the year. When the water's up and everything's about because there's every chance there will be a crocodile in here when it's the dry season the water's in little pools and everything especially if you guys are coming up you can the pools are crystal clear you can see it it's um not really an issue well there's fish up here anyhow so that's a good thing uh, yeah, but not too bad at all. Making sure I've got lots of big trees between me and the water. Anyhow, we'll keep going up. It's not far from the road, this either. But up further, um, where I showed you those little pools and that, 
you can see for miles, you can check every puddle, you know you're safe there. Because the water's pretty much crystal clear. But always check it. And always err on the side of caution. <laughs> As you can see, they do have the crocodile warning signs up here and you can see how brackish that water is, so yeah, not a good idea. They do have a nice little shady um, park bit here, which I'll take you into. It's usually pretty clean. It's still a good place for a picnic and everything. And you can see the old Aktung sign. Crocodiles may inhabit these waters and everything like that. But still a nice place to come for a picnic, cool off, chill. The water's high at the moment, but when it's down, it's a nice rocky bottom. Really um, good. You can have a fish here, that's no trouble. But, it's pretty cool. It's just a shame you can't swim. <laughs> Anyhow, there's always up the creek and it's only a couple of k's. It's not far. Okay. Just going down a road called Trisice Road. Um, I've never been right down it all the way. It's a dead end road, I think, but I just want to have a look at it. We'll keep heading up to Myello to have a look at the thing. Yeah. Few house enders here worth a bit more than I can afford. Good luck to them. Holy dooly, look at that house. And that one. Majestic would be an understatement. Just goes to show you never know what you're going to find when you go down a road. And we find a pretty little creek. I'm just, uh, I don't know where this road goes. It's quite interesting, right? Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, this road links up to where I took you before. It does a great big circuit. Just where I had to do that little sort of funny Y intersection as we we're going up. That's where this fella goes. Anyhow, now that I know, and I don't want to go there again, but we probably will, because I'm already there, if that makes sense. Yeah, and... Surprise, surprise, <laughs> we're back at where we were. But we don't want to see that again.
Now we've got no cars coming. Pretty cool little area, hey? Now I'd still be careful here swimming, but only because I don't know the area, but locals would know it. But there's still little safe spots like that little pool, crystal clear, you can see for miles, or not miles, but a long way. But up there I'd be a little bit careful till the water got down. Let's go have a look at this road. It probably goes to a dead end. See, again, you'll see the little cane cage holders. I don't know. This only goes to a farm up here, I'm pretty sure, but. Yeah, how cool is this little. Oh man, that looks good. I think we're coming to the end of it. Okay guys, this is what I mean. All locals here having a swim. Because they know where the water is. Local knowledge, so... See the local swimming? It's pretty good. That road did go to a dead end, so we're just going back. So, getting back to the um, creeks and everything here, guys. We're just coming up to the people again. I'll, try, I'll slow down and get some footage, but. The locals know it's clear. It's obviously the popular spot for locals to come and have a swim. And, and cool down. You can see how crystal clear it is everything up there. And down there. So they know where to swim and where it's safe to do it. So by all means jump in and have fun. <laughs> yeah well I got a bit distracted with um, going down searching these roads guys but I'm really happy because I've um, found two good swimming spots and one that looks good when it's in the dry season so come for a ride or a walk I've got plenty of spots to cool down I will share it on the map with you shortly so you know where they are just um, leave the area as you find it take your rubbish and enjoy the bush anyhow we'll keep heading up to Monello to the War Memorial um, it's only a little one but it's got a bit of history to it that some people may not know anyhow sign off now and uh, we'll head up there now <laughs>